Hey Trailites, it's laundry day at the college and we wanted to bring you along so we could share some tips and tricks for using the washer and dryer. First, load your laundry into the drum of the washer. Next comes detergent. There are lots of different types to choose from, so make sure you read the label to see how much detergent you really need. It can be tempting to pour in a full cup or even more, but having too much detergent means it might not all get washed out. Your laundry could feel stiff and might start to smell bad after a few washes if you use too much. Liquid detergent usually goes into your washing machine's dispenser, while detergent pods go into the drum of the washer with your clothes. Powdered detergent can go directly into the drum or into the dispenser. If you choose to use fabric softener, that will go in your machine's dispenser as well. Make sure not to put fabric softener into loads that have towels, because it stops towels from absorbing water. Once your detergent and clothes are loaded into the washer, select what type of washing cycle you would like. Some machines have lots of different options, while others have just a few. For a regular load, you can usually select a regular or normal option. Once the washer is done, you can transfer your clothes to the dryer. Make sure to separate out any items that say air dry only or something similar on the label. Dryer sheets can help stop your clothes from getting staticky as they dry. Be careful with towels though, because dryer sheets can stop them from absorbing water just like fabric softener does. Dryer sheets go directly into the drum with your wet clothes. Select the drying option that best fits your load of laundry. Most loads can be put on the regular or normal setting. If you're worried about some of your items shrinking, you can choose a setting that uses lower heat, like the delicate setting. Our dryer is reminding us to check the lint trap, which collects loose fibers. When your dryer is finished, take out your clothes. If any of them are still damp, you can either put them back in for a few more minutes or you can hang them up to air dry the rest of the way. Make sure to clean the lint trap. That will prevent the dryer vent from getting clogged, which can become a fire hazard. All that's left now is to fold. Folding or hanging your clothes as soon as they come out of the dryer can help stop them from getting wrinkled. Getting your laundry routine down can take some trial and error, so don't give up if your first load doesn't go perfectly. With so many different machines, detergent types, and types of clothing, it takes time to find the right settings. Thanks for joining us for this Happy Box how-to. Tune in next time for some more helpful tips for first-year students or check out our other videos.